after 45 years of scrutinizing the scriptures, why did Robert Dick Wilson say one of the most amazing things he found was the accuracy of the spelling of the names of the kings in the scriptures? Well, let me best I can explain to you what he found. He said, there are 29 ancient kings that are mentioned not only in the Bible. Now, this is important. These 29 kings are not only mentioned in the Bible, but also their names have been found on monuments of their time. So do you get that? 29 kings that are not only mentioned in the Bible, but we've also discovered them on monuments going back to when they lived. There are 195 consonants, not words, 195 consonants in these 29 proper names of kings. Of these 195 consonants, there's only two or three out of all of them, which there can be any question, after several thousand years of transmission through the copying of texts. There's only two or three, there'd be any question of their being written in exactly the same way as they were inscribed on the monuments. In other words, in the New uh, Old Testament, the names were written exactly in the way they were written on the monuments. They had not lost any fidelity. And he said some of these go back for two to 4,000 years. They are written that all but two letters are absolutely correct, clean, and you can easily read them. The other two, you can know what they are, but they're not as clean as the others. In other words, 195 consonants of these kings have been transmitted accurately down through two to 4,000 years of copying. You say, Josh, that's nice, but what does it prove? What does it prove? Well, what I want to do in the next section, and the next couple, is I want to do a comparison with other literature of antiquity. You know what I've learned over the years? The more I compare Scripture with other literature of antiquity, oh, let me tell you, the greater respect and admiration do I have for the Word of God. What I want to give you that same respect and admiration that I have for the Word of God through sharing with you several comparisons of what Robert Dick Wilson found and that he found in other literature of antiquity.